Hey everyone, this is Collapse and Protect. Today we'll be wrapping up the third and final torture test segment for our Emperor HD12. So far we've put 450 rounds through it and we're going to shoot 50 more, bringing our total up to a nice 500. The Emperor has taken everything I've been able to throw at it so far, but this last part isn't going to be any easier and the odds of something breaking will be at an all-time high. We're moving on to a series of drop tests. We're gonna start out easy with some grass and end on a solid slab of concrete. Just a reminder, the Emperor hasn't been lubed up since leaving the factory, and a lot of that oil was probably washed off during our test in the spring bed, or with the hose, or worn away with gravel. My point is, she's dry, bone dry. Let's drop the Emperor on some grass. All these drop tests were done from a six foot height. I just let the gravity do the work. The grass was no obstacle for our shotgun, and while you can see some flex in the slow-mo replay, it's nothing crazy. I don't foresee any issues after those delicate drops, but let's throw some more rounds down range just to make sure. Look at that, it still cycles and shoots, no issues there. Let's move on to something more punishing, back to the gravel. Gravel still has some give like grass, but lots of individual pressure points that could hit something important hard enough to break it. Let's see how she does. There's a little more flex here than on the grass, but nothing too crazy. Now let's move on to the most unforgiving surface we have, concrete. We're gonna ease into this. Say you lean your HD12 up against something at the range and someone walks past and oops, knocks it over. Will anything break? Surely the plastic parts like the butt stock and pistol grip will give up the ghost. Nah. They don't care. Then I looked at our sights. I wouldn't call this a failure, more of a deformation. The sights are still usable, but they're getting bashed around quite a bit. All right, now we're really gonna hurt this thing. Six foot drops on concrete. There is no give, there's no mercy, just pain for the Emperor. There was a lot of flex for this test. The only issue that came up is that the butt plate popped loose. All I had to do was push it back into place and it wasn't a problem again. Let's look at that rear ghost ring sight again. It looks worse than before. It's really squeezing that rear aperture, but it still functions as a sight. This is a non-issue for the Emperor. After a grand total of 100 drops, let's take a look and see if this thing still functions. This is the last one for all the beans. So she can run this. Then this is a crazy, incredible deal. That's it. This thing's awesome. That's all there is to it. Just get it. It still runs just fine, so let's finish up our ammo for the day. At this point, the Emperor has eaten a total of 500 rounds of various ammo types without any hiccups. No light primer strikes, no short strokes, no sight, safety, or action failures of any type. Well, it's covered in scars and mud, the plastic furniture is rough and burred in spots, and the sights are bent and deformed. After a complete cleaning and oiling, the Emperor is ready for anything I can throw at it, even in its current state. I would trust my life with this shotgun. The Emperor is no show pony, but it's definitely a workhorse. For that, it's earned a spot in my safe. I may have also ordered a couple more of them already, so now I own four of these things. You can't pass up this type of a deal. So that's it. The Emperor made it through 500 rounds and a three-leg torture test without any major issues. One thing is very clear. This thing is a tank, a juggernaut, an absolute unit. The Turkish people really know how to manufacture a reliable shotgun, and the Emperor HD12 is proof of that. So if you have any questions, throw up a comment and let me know what you think of the videos. I love the feedback. Do me a favor and like and subscribe. As always, have fun and be safe.